it, Sunny and Finn's Games and Grabs podcast. Now sponsored by Gamerborn Clothing and the Fatal Grips. Go to gamerborn.co.uk or fatalgrips.com and use the code DDGAMING for 10% off your next order. What's happening guys? Welcome to episode 68 of the Games and Grabs podcast. I'm Sunny and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello. How you doing Finn? I'm very good, thank you. Very good. How are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. Right, so we've had we've had a week <laughs> off. We have. Um, due to various life things. Yes, my brain exploded. These things do happen. Brains explode. Yeah, afraid so. But, but it's we're okay. back. I, I do it back together. It's fine. Yeah, you're like Humpty <laughs> Dumpty. Yeah, exactly. All the kings yeah. also they call the kings men, etc., etc. Couldn't put Finn back together again. Yeah. Is it maybe they have put Finn back together again. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, Humpty. Yeah. <laughs> Humpty, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Finn. Hello. Um, what have you been playing since we uh, since we last podcasted? I've uh, played quite a bit, actually. Quite a few oh. different things. Okay. Um, so, this on the two, right? A game we've been talking about, Backlog. I, I, yep. I've, give, I've given up. It's, oh, really? <laughs> it's... it's it's one of those things where I want. It's not difficult to play it normally, but because I want to do it like full stealth, it's impossible. <laughs> and okay. I've just, just given up because I can't, I can't do, do it. Because I can't do it like perfectly, I can't don't do it at all. I'm one of those people. <laughs> if I can't do it perfectly. I, I just don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. So I'm not sure I agree with this. <laughs> no, you I see, mean, were you playing it on the hardest difficulty? Is that what you? Is that what this is? Is is, is that why? You're struggling, or what? Um, what why, why, one, why is it you're struggling? It was, it was. Just, it's so there's these enemies, right? Um, there's like robot enemies. They can see you forwards and backwards, and there's like this segment we need to sneak past some. But I couldn't. Cause it's so difficult because it's in like an enclosed area. It's like I just, I just rage quit basically. It's like I have better games on my backlog that I can be playing. <laughs> it's but so it's supposed to be good. It is supposed to be very, very good. It's yeah. I don't know. It's not I don't know. I'm just not getting on with it, I guess. Shrug. So you suck at it. Pretty much. And you've <laughs> given up. You've you've thrown your toys out of your pram and Pretty you much. have given up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like I'm sitting there playing Solon 2. Meanwhile, I've got Persona 5. I've got all these other games on my backlog. And I'm, just, I'm just thinking, man, I could, instead of wrapping up with this, I could be playing Persona 5 or something good. And mm. uh, so I did. So I stopped playing it and played Persona 5 instead, which is excellent. <laughs> Persona 5 is excellent. I will give you that. So yeah. how much more of Persona 5 have you done? Because um, um, I know we sort of, we both put it down and didn't play it for a while. So um, I've just beaten the third third dungeon. Um, I'm just currently in between, in between bits, waiting for like the third um, bit of the game to resolve itself. And then I'll move on to the next dungeon. And I've got working on like social links and what stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it's great. I love it. I don't know why okay. I ever stopped. Don't know why I ever stopped playing it in the first place. You don't know why you stopped playing it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, okay, it's great. But uh, other than that, I've also been playing Super Hot VR, which is also excellent. Oh yeah, yeah. I've uh, beaten the um, original just like story mode. Um, it's very very good. I've also been playing the hardcore mode, which is like oh, hard okay. mode basically. Right. And uh, basically, you only get one bullet per gun, or one shot per gun. Um, and guns break if they get shot, so you can't just block bullets with them, like I was doing. Um, what else? Or the bullets move faster as well? The time moves faster as you move, if that makes sense? Yeah, it makes sense, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's very difficult. But one thing I did learn, you do have access to your like mine exploding powers from the get-go, which is nice. Um, but it's very difficult, but very fun as well, very, <clears throat> and very intense. But well, it's a great game. I mean, I, I have it as well. And I do think it's absolutely amazing. Yes. I think it's probably one of the, if not the best experience I've had on PlayStation VR so far. Agreed. Yes, I agree with that. Um, that and Resident Evil Seven for me are the best, best two so far. So I'm yet to play through the full game of Resident Evil Seven in VR. Oh. Obviously, I've done the, uh, uh, I've done the demo, and I've done the kitchen demo as well. But uh, I want to get round to it. It's just getting round to it. Yeah, I know what you mean. There's so but, many games. 
with Superheart, like as soon as I played it, I was like, "Wow, this is special," you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, like, I am the uh, one. I am the. That's, ex- that's exactly <laughs> it, and it's it's like when it's so difficult to explain to somebody who's never played VR before. <laughs> yeah. But it's the feeling like there's a level. Okay, so picture this. So there's two, um, two ninja stars falling from the sky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You catch them. And there's four guys coming at you, two from either side. So you, you catch the ninja stars and then you throw um, one either side yep. because there's two guys carrying knives. You then catch the knives and then in one swift movement, <laughs> you kill the other two guys that are coming at you by just by putting your arms out on the side with your knives. Yeah, it's great. You, you just feel so incredibly powerful. <laughs> it is unbelievable. You, yeah. you just stand there. You know you look like a dick in your front room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know that you do, right? It's but, like a... <laughs> yeah, but and you've got like a, a badass look on your face that nobody can see because it's covered with a VR headset. <laughs> yeah. And it, but it's there's just a, a feeling with this game that you don't get with many other games. It's yeah. an incredible experience. It really, really is. It's so good. I just like the feeling of like watching the bullets come past you as they come past you. It's like, whoa. Yeah. It just feels, because it's always real, it feels like it's right there in front of you. It's amazing. Yeah. And, it's, and it, you know what? It's, it's, even though it's it's sort of basic environment wise, it still looks really cool. Yeah. I love it. I think it's great. Yeah. Uh, I'm very, very impressed. I think it's excellent. Me too. Um, other than that, what else have been playing? Uh, GTA with you and definitely us, Daydreamer. We have been playing a ton of GTA. Oh yes, we are a bit like, addicted. We're, we're slightly obsessed with it. It's... <laughs> a little bit. It's so good. Yeah. We play, we play in the heists um, because uh, we haven't done them yet, and they're awesome. They're great. So much fun. Yeah, I love the way that the um, planning goes into it, and everybody mm-hmm. like it was cool when we were well, there was four of us playing. It was me, um, yourself, uh, Lit, and Denzel. And two of us did one thing, and two of us did the other thing. Yeah. And I, I love that. I think that's really, really cool. And, and then it, it doesn't sort. Of, it, it also just I don't know. It just makes it feel unique, you know. Like yeah. What you're doing is significant to the heist. Yeah, it's different than what everyone else is doing. It's cool. Um, Instead of everybody sort of just shooting bullets, killing everyone, <laughs> then going going off and doing the heist, you know, it's like yeah, two of us are doing one thing. And that's our contribution. Then the other two are doing their thing, and that's their contribution. And it's just, it's awesome. It's if you haven't played GTA Online, you should play it because I mean we we only we all just sort of picked it up a couple of weeks ago, like and started playing it, and now all of a sudden we're just really completely good. obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. I will say, never trust Denzel with a parachute. Never. I'll say that never. Useless. Never, ne- never taking parachute in the real life. He he will die. Yeah, he'll die <laughs> almost instantly because he will face plant into rocks. Yes, I've got a power suit. I'm going to go to rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Come Sorry, on, lads. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Sorry, Dan. Oh, God. Basically, uh, what the thing with that is, we did a um, we did a, a, a stream of GTA Online, basically. Mm-hmm. And we were, we were right at the end of the heist. And all we had to do was parachute onto the beach get in the helicopter, go away, and we got our we got our reputation and our money. That's, yep. That was it. That was it. That's what we need to do. Uh, something happened. Yes. Not, not only did Dental fly face forward into the ground at full speed, um, he flew right under my helicopter blades. So somehow managed to dodge that, but didn't dodge the ground. Because how could you? It's like, why would you even drive? <laughs> I don't know. It's fair we, to say we, we, we were we were all angry. We were pretty miffed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we were not happy boys. Not even <laughs> not even slightly. We were like, well, that's the end of that stream. That's, uh, that was GTA Online. That happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but man. we went back on later on in the night, and we did it, and it was we good, did. and you know it was all good again. But yeah, it's it's awesome. Like just everything exactly. about it. So from the heists and the stunt races. And just even the like the simple jobs of go and kill a load of gang members and steal someone's car and those <laughs> sorts of things. It's just a very, very good game. Yes. Excellent. Um us, oh we played some Diablo three. Start oh, off yeah, on that. Did. Yeah, that's a good one. I love that game. It's very good. Very helped us. He's got a bad oh, in it. 
Yeah, Brew reappeared. He, <laughs> he, uh, he disappeared for a little while. If you if you follow Daydreamer, you'll know there's a load of us. Um, Brew is one of the originals. Um, he did some load of stuff at the beginning, then just literally fell off the face of the earth. Pretty much. And then reappeared in uh, New Tristram just the other day. <laughs> yeah. We said the Abbey <laughs> three times and he, he appeared it's like Beetlejuice. Exactly like Beetlejuice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, it, it, was, it was a really good time. Uh, I'm looking forward to carrying that on. Yes, me too. I just love that game so much. It's just, the hooks are there. I mean, I know I always talk about hooks in video games, but that game, man, it just, it just has those hooks. Absolutely. It's wonderful. Yes, it's awesome. Um, and I also played some, a uh, bit more Fallout 4, because uh, I was, I, I bought um, Horizon Zero Dawn, but I don't have enough space in my hard drive to install it. And I was looking through games to delete, so I was like, I saw Fallout 4. I was like, well, I've still got like one DLC left to play through. So I might as well just play through that, then delete it, and then I can download Horizon. So I've been playing that simply just so I can delete it, basically. Okay. <laughs> you've been you've been busy. I have. I've been playing a lot. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. How about you? Have you been playing anything? Uh, anything else apart from GTA and stuff? I'm well, not really sure I can <laughs> compete with that list. <laughs> you, 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 Finn's just been playing through his entire back catalogue, basically. Um, yeah, I've been playing some stuff, man. I've been, uh, so I've been playing a lot of GTA, I've been playing some Diablo, um, I've been playing Thumper on PlayStation VR. Ah, yes. And, mm, that's cool. Jeez, man, that game is intense. <laughs> yeah. It's awesome. It's really, really good. Yeah, that's just, that's the rhythm one, isn't it? It is the rhythm game, yes. It's, it's yeah. like, the, you're following the little I'm not even sure what it is actually you're following this thing down the tracks mm-hmm. and you have to hit the button in time with the music and um it gets harder progressively as the levels go on because of course and you you know uh, it's it's just completely intense especially when it starts getting faster and you're having to remember all the different things that you can do at the different times and stuff like that but it's it's super intense uh, but it is brilliant it's gorgeous as well um, oh, yeah. the the way it looks in virtual reality is just something else. It's a great experience. Um, I think, um, aside from Super Heart and Batman, I think that's probably my favourite PlayStation VR game. Nice. And I loved Job Simulator. I told him it's excellent, yeah. This, <laughs> this is it's really, really good. Plus, you can excellent. sit down playing it as well. Yep, I thought the bonus. <laughs> no, no room needed. Just <laughs> sit down with a control pad. No faffing with move controllers or <laughs> waving arms around in the air or any of that crap. It's just sitting down and playing and enjoying it. And it's it's really, really good. Good stuff. Um, what else have I been playing? You know, I, I, I thought about this as well before we before we started recording. I was like, yeah, I've been playing this, 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 and this, and this. Now we started recording, I've just completely forgotten. Yeah. Um, what have I been playing? Very, very I've been playing FIFA? some... Uh, I haven't. I haven't. No? I haven't been playing... I haven't been playing Pez at all. Wow. I know. I've had a week off it. But I think yeah. it's because I've been completely obsessed with GTA. That could be it. Yeah. At least you're on that sometimes, just playing races and stuff. I was like, yeah. man, I sit on the play too. <laughs> yeah, I, ju- I just go on. It's like I turn my PlayStation on. I'm like, okay, let's uh, let's do some gaming. Let's maybe work through this backlog of mine. Oh, GTA. Oh, let's just go <laughs> and do uh, a few stunt races. And then two hours later, I've uh, earned a load of money, a load of rep. Yeah, I've done that a few times as well. So I had a disc in the drive already, so I could play this or play more GTA. Yeah, I'll play GTA. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I've been playing, um, been playing some, for, still, still playing through Forza Horizon Two. Nice. Still really enjoying it. Um, good, good. I need to get back into Forza Horizon Three, but I think I'm just going to stick with Forza Horizon Two for the meantime, and then go back and finish Forza Horizon Three for Makes the sense. second time. So, cool. Um, I played Path of Exile. Ah, uh, yeah. Which is a Diablo-esque dungeon crawler, which has just mm. gone into beta phase on Xbox One. Excellent. And it's very good. Yeah, it looks good. A lot of yeah. high praise from uh, PC gamers, PC mm. nerds. Um, nerds. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look forward to playing it once it comes to uh, on the PS4, whatever it's coming to. I'm sure it's going to PS4, right? It has to be. I'm, I'd imagine so, yeah. Yeah, but I've been playing that. It's it's, it's going to be free to play. There is going to be the dreaded microtransactions, as every free to play game has. But um, from what I've been told, and from what I gathered from the press release that I was sent, it's just going to be cosmetic, not play, not pay to win. Yeah, that's good. That's a good way to be. Yeah, because pay to win that fucking sucks. That's it's that's not the way to go. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. 
But um, yeah, that's pretty much. Yeah, maybe I didn't have a massive list of games that I was playing, and I literally have just been playing GTA. <laughs> that's fair. And Thumper. But yeah. Cool. Don't do all that? No, nothing wrong with that at all. Good times. Excellent. Good stuff. I'm enjoying my gaming at the minute. I really am. Yeah, me too. I've, uh, yeah, I think because we've all been playing more together. Hmm. And we, we, I mean, we have been playing a lot as well, like together, just in the party chat, and like we've been <laughs> streaming all this sort of stuff. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it at the minute. The channel's flourishing. Everybody's having a good time doing it. And yeah, it, yeah it's uh, it's it's good fun, man. I'm having I'm having a good time with gaming again. Excellent. Good yeah. stuff. Good times. So, speaking of gaming, yes. What do we have in the way of gaming news this week? Um, I don't have a whole lot. Um, I did see a few things the other day though. It's piqued my interest. Okay. Because it's Persona related. Yay! Ooh. Uh, so Persona 3 Dancing Moon Knight and Persona 5 Dancing Star Knight have both been announced by Atlas. Uh, they are dancing rhythm games. Um, just about rhythm games, basically, not dance itself. Um, but there's a Persona 4 one on Place in the Research, which is excellent. Uh, it's all liked a lot. And it's easy platinum, which helps. Um, but nice. yeah, they look, they look very unusual and weird, but it look really. I really love music and rhythm games and the music from the Sony games are excellent. So, yes. I Good. can tell <laughs> by the excitement in your voice that you're ready for this. Oh, yes, absolutely. My body is ready. Uh, I, saw, just... I, I, I saw this yesterday on Twitter and oh, um, yeah. I tagged you in it on the Daydreamer Twitter account. Oh, I did? I didn't notice. I didn't check and, social media. Uh, <laughs> I knew instantly that you were into this. That you, oh, this yes. was going to be a very thin steel thing. Oh, yes. Uh, episode 4, Dancing All Night was excellent. Um, these still both came to PS4 as well as Peter, so that's an uh, added bonus. Yep. Um, so yes, very much looking forward to that. Um, if those two are coming to PS4, why can't they port the uh, the Persona 4 Vita one? Um, I don't know. They probably will eventually, I'd imagine. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little while before these two come out. Okay. Um, but yeah. Uh, speaking of Persona, uh, it's also announced uh, Persona Q2 for the 3DS. Uh, the mm. version... First Persona, Persona Q was a cross- crossover between three and four, so I imagine Q two will be out of five in there as well. So you get two and five as well as three and two. Okay. Two and three, three and four. But Is this like a full Persona <laughs> game? Because I saw this as well. I saw they had like some sort of Persona like event or something where these things were announced. Or um, yeah, so uh, Persona Q one um, is basically a dungeon crawler um, kind of thing. It's kind mm. kind of like the old Persona games, maybe one and two, but um, a bit different. But the cool okay. one, it's probably, probably, probably one of my favourite 3, 3DS games, the first one. So, uh, I don't even pick this one up. Probably the next first game I've played since playing the first one on my 3DS, to be honest with you. Fair um, enough. But yeah, it'd be cool. I like it. Yeah, and okay, fair the, enough. Yeah, one percent equals good. Absolutely. I mean, I saw this. <laughs> I love that they, Nintendo, just care so much for the 3DS. Yeah, it's good. It's good. That is not, it's not dead yet. It's not vetoed. It's not vetoed, no. <laughs> no, I mean, if... You know, if if Sony would have shown the love for the Vita that Nintendo do for the 3DS, like, I, I mean, I know these Persona dancing games are coming to the Vita, but come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Uh, I mean, it's still bubbling in Japan, I think. More bubbling is over Vita? here, anyway. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think you can buy a brand new Vita here. I can't remember the last <laughs> time I even saw Vitas advertised anywhere. That's a good point. That's a good point. Like, you go into game or anything, I mean, I'm sure you can get second-hand Vitas, but... I'm pretty certain there's always about four games on the shelf, if that. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Never got one over here. Shame. I know it didn't, and it's a great piece of kit as well. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Oh, shame. 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 Um, but other than that, um, I don't really have a whole lot of uh, gaming news. No, I don't either, and I can't even look on my phone because I'm actually recording the video that you see right now on my <laughs> phone. So. Um, yeah, but we don't need to worry too much about that because we there's do, a question burning on everybody's lips. Yes. What has made the list of games <laughs> coming out in August? Finn Steele. Hello. Right, so August 1st, it came out two days ago as I'm recording this. Uh, we have The Long Dark on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Okay, what's that? I don't know. Let's have a look. Awesome. That sounds great. Yeah, I need to go to the different page to find out. Um, Long Dark is an immersive survival simulation for the PC and console. Um, oh, it's VR, apparently. Neat. Oh, right. No, it won't be on PSVR, though. I imagine Probably it'll be Oculus. Not. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, it looks... Eh. 
Well, it's one of those in the games. You know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, I, I, I know exactly what you mean. It's going to be one of those things that few people are going to love. Uh, most people aren't going to play, but those that do love it will stick up for it and promote it to the hilt. Yes, and we'll never shut up about it. Yep. <laughs> Uh, also on August 1st uh, Patapon Remastered came out which is a cool oh is that uh, out now it's out now it was a, a Playstation uh, portable game and oh, okay. it was it was fun it was a fun I little think I, game I think I might get that actually because yeah. I like I like Patapon um, yeah. ok yeah if that's available now I might actually pick that up after we finish recording the podcast cool I might say we, we split the glass by my account oh and ok all that. cool yeah um what else have we got? On August 2nd, we have a game called Tacoma on Xbox One and PC. Tacoma. Okay. Another indie game. Um, actually, first, first, nope. Tacoma is the next game from Fulbright, the creators <laughs> of Gone Home. Oh, it's Gone Home, but a different one. Meh. Oh, is it really? The, what, they've just copied that and it's, they've called it something else? Um, no, it's just like the next game from the people who made Gone Home. Okay. It's just got 7 out of 10 on GameSpot. Yeah. It's fine. Why are you? <laughs> you're not ripping on seven out of tens, are you? No, it's just it's one. It's one of those indie games where it's like you walk around and piece together a story. There's no real, any, no real actual gameplay to it. Finn, it sounds like you're hating on indie games. I'm not hating on indie games. I'm hating on this kind of indie game. Finn, bad indie games. Finn, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you like this, you know, I don't think it. Finn, if you like like we like, I don't care. Finn. Okay. The the hole's dug. <laughs> The whole the, dog. the indie game deeper. community is coming for you with pitchforks. No, please. They, they've, they've started a fire. The point they've is. all got fin steel effigies that they are currently <laughs> burning. No. Yeah, that's effigies. right. Yeah, the indie <laughs> game community, man, you cannot fuck with them. <laughs> you just have. And next week's Games and Grats podcast will just be me. <laughs> yeah, the, the Sunny Cup podcast. Yeah. <laughs> sunny cast. <laughs> that's what it's going to be called, yeah. <laughs> Uh, on uh, August the 8th, we have a game called Black Hole on PS4. Shrug. We have Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. Oh, Shrug. that looks good. Oh, it does? That does look good. That's Team Ninja, I think. Oh. Oh, yeah. is that one? Yeah, I know what you mean. They're, they're calling it the spiritual successor to Heavenly Sword. Oh, I like Heavenly Sword. And it looks so pretty, Finn. You have to look at it. Look, look at the trailer. It, and I saw it and I was like... Wait, what? This looks awesome. What do you mean the spiritual successor to Heavenly Sword? And why have I not seen this until now? And it's like, yeah. it, it I looks think awesome. I, Go check it out. Uh, yeah, I think I have the intro. I actually now looked at it. Um, yeah, cool. I the didn't realise it was out that soon, actually. But yeah, that oh, looks really, really good. Very cool. Excellent. Keep an eye on that. Yep. Um, we also have uh, Mega Man Legacy Collection 2 on PS4, Xbox One and PC. Jesus, is, uh, seriously, have they, have they not crammed all of their games into the first Mega Collection? Uh, no, that, the first one was 1 to 6, this one it is 7 to 10. Jesus. Yeah. So many Mega Man games. There's so many. Will you though. be getting that? Well, uh, Bobby, eventually. Okay, fair enough. Um, on August 11th, we have Night Trap, 25th anniversary oh, on yes. PS4. Yes. Yes, Expec- all the yeses. For yeah, <laughs> for sure. That, expect a copyright claim for that, for the FMV. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for that. I think that's going to be cool. That's going to be very cool. Uh, also on, oh no, on August fifteenth, we have Agents of Mayhem, which is sort of like the uh, Saints Row multiplayer game thingy. Yes. Yeah, with like superpowers and whatnot. Yeah, I thought that looked quite interesting, but um, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw this out there now. That's gonna bomb. Yeah, it's it's gonna it's bomb some, hard. Something's off about it. Um, I think they're pushing the look a bit with Saints Row Four. Just being like complete superhero, nothing to do with Saints Row. Mm. There seems to be more of that. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not convinced with it. I thought it looked cool when it was originally announced, but um, I don't know. I, I mean, Saints Row is very niche and has a very core fan base, mm. but I don't think that is going to be enough to make this a, a success. I just don't. No, it's not, and and it's not free to play either, is it? It's oh no, it's, it's a proper full game. It's a full game, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think this is going to do well. No, I don't see it doing well. Nope. But I'll be happy to be. Hey, happy to I be hope I'm wrong. wrong. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I'll be happy to be proved wrong. Uh, on August fifteenth, same day, uh, a game on your dental is excited for. Which you can hear him talk about it. <laughs> is uh, City Skylines on PS4? Yeah, that uh, I was talking to Mule about this actually, just um, just at the weekend, and he says it's really good. Oh yeah. 
he says it like he just completely eclipses Sim City, um, mm. and is very very good. So I I am quite interested in it. It's yeah. not my type of thing. It's absolutely Denzel's type of thing. <laughs> but um, he loves all of that stuff. Anything you can make any sort of weird simulation game. Like I tagged him in a World War Two simulation that's coming out later in the year. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> and he was like, I'm, or, I'm already getting it. <laughs> oh, Jesus, but so City Skylines, yeah, it's already out on Xbox One. It's coming to PS4. It looks very cool. Cool. I'll keep it on that. One to be excited for, I think. Yeah, excellent. Uh, also on the same day on PS4, a game called Matterfall. Um, it's rogue. It's I've heard like... of it. I don't know what it is. Overcoming ever expanding threats that might have already seeped too far into the core of humanity itself. Ooh, sounds ominous. Wait, that's the description. That's the description. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, that makes me want to buy that game. Yes. It looks, like a, it looks like a game that exists. With a crap description. Yeah. The crappiest yes. description of all time. Yes. Crappy name as well. Matterfall. Yeah. Matterfall. Yeah, I know. That's not, that's not a good name. It's not. Come on, guys. Step it up. No one wants your crap <laughs> game and your crap description. <laughs> it might not be crap. I'm sure it's fine. It'll be fine. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, also, also, the same day, we have uh, Nidhogg 2, sequel to Nidhogg 1. Surprising. Is, uh, surprising. Yeah. So which surprising. Is, which is the, uh, which is the sword fighting uh, little indie game, which is uh, pretty good, actually. Like a uh, one-on-one co- uh, like game. <laughs> sword fighting game. What, literally sword fighting? Uh, yeah, it's like little, little 2D sprites and start fighting with the swords. And the goal was to, like, to get to the end of the thing and get eaten by a big uh, rogue creature. Sure. Yeah. Okay, that sounds weird and interesting at the same time. Very weird, very interesting. But it was cool. Um, okay. Yeah. Also on the same day, we have Observer on PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Mm, never heard uh, of it. No description available. Oh, good. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> yes. um, so if you're trying to promote your game and, you know, nothing like telling people nothing about it, <laughs> buy a yeah. game that we can't really tell you anything about. Uh, genre's first person 3D adventure. Great. That really mm. narrows it down. Congratulations, <laughs> <guys>. <laughs> Really good. It? Yeah, uh, brilliant. Great. Uh, oh, well, it's all the same day, a game, a game I'm very excited for. I know you are as well. Sonic Mania. On, oh, yeah. On literally everything. Literally um, everything. Yes. Very, very cool. Um, I'm going to be streaming, so next week I'm going to be streaming old classic Sonic games every day of the week uh, leading up to Sonic Mania, which is going to be a lot of fun. Now, you're going to be doing full playthroughs of these games? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. I'll I'm excited for that, actually, Finn, because um, I haven't played Sonic in ages. I know Sonic 2 like the back of my hand. Sonic 1 Same. and 2 like the back of my hand. But 3 and 4, sorry, 3 and Knuckles, I'm not overly sort of familiar with. Yeah, not in the fair. same way as 1 and 2. That's fair. Um, I've played more growing up, so I know more like, like I'm playing Black Bolded, probably. <laughs> fair enough. But um, I, this, this looks brilliant. And the soundtrack from what they've released already is so just good. wonderful. It's so good. I'm listening to a lot on YouTube or not. It's so, so it's good. I love it. It's super magical. And I'm I'm very excited for that game. It's going to be really cool. You bought the Collector's Edition, right? Uh, yes, I've pre-ordered the Collector's Edition. I had it on pre-order since the first day it came available, which is months ago. <laughs> yeah, because I remember when uh, it was first announced, it was only announced for the US, but I think people just kicked off and kicked off and kicked off and <laughs> we, we got it. So, yeah, yeah, It looks wicked, man. I, I, I can't wait to play that. I hope... I hope it's not crap. I really hope hey, it's not crap. I think it will be. It's been done by the guy who did the uh, uh, console port of Sonic CD. It's also done other stuff as well, Sonic related, which has all been all been good. So I have I've faith it's going to be good. That's another one I'm not overly familiar with, Sonic CD. I always wanted to play it. Uh, yeah, same, I actually, think I, I may have got it on Xbox, but I can't remember playing it. If I Yeah, have, I've played, I played, played through it once on Xbox, uh, but that's about it. I never saw Sega CD growing up. Um, mm. But I'll play through that next week as well, probably. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, Sonic good. Week on Daydreamer with Finn Steele. This is going to be yeah. exciting. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Oh, on August 22nd, oh, excuse me, we have The Escapist 2 on PS4, Xbox One and PC. That'll be good. That's very popular. Another Denzel-esque mm. Denzel game, game, that is. <laughs> yeah. I think he's just, he's just bought The Escapist 1, actually, but I do believe it's like... Three pound fifty on PSN at the minute, or something oh, like nice. that. But um, yeah, that's um, that's a very popular game as well, which I think um, spawned many DLCs. Oh, I think it did. Yes, it loads like Walking Dead one as well, didn't it? Yes, it did. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 It did. Yeah. Made by the guys who make uh, the Worms game. 
Team 17, is that what it is? That's the one. Yeah. Okay. Good team. Memory. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's got a game called Chroma Gun coming out the same day or PS4? Chroma Gun. Uh, I've heard of it and I think it's supposed to be very good, but I can't remember. Uh, so no that, description? Okay. That, um, <laughs> that sentence I just said was pure nonsense and very unnecessary. Um, yeah, I don't know, it could be cool, but I have no description on GameSpot, so yeah. Cheers. Maybe it's GameSpot that sucks <laughs> and not these Maybe. games. Maybe, could be. Yeah, That's very, that's very possible. Be. Uh, I think that's very possible, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also on the same day, we have Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale uh, Episode 3. Only Oh, they're only on Episode 3? About to say, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Uh, I mean, I've still not played through Episode 1. I, I bought the season pass. Oh, yeah. Before the game even came out, and I haven't finished episode one yet. <laughs> uh, I like it. Uh, I thought it was fine. I mean, I played maybe half an hour of the first episode, and it was it was cool. It's got a cool licensed soundtrack, and it's Guardians of the Galaxy um, in Telltale form, and it's exactly what you would expect. Cool. I'm more excited for Batman, which you've actually missed off the release list, Batman. which comes out next week. Oh, right. I was on there. Thanks, guys. But you suck. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, I was going to play through um, the Game of Thrones one, which I got for free, even though I know nothing about Games of Thrones. I kind of want to play it just because Game, it's Telltale. The fact you just called it Games of Thrones. Games of Thrones. Yeah, I don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell. You don't watch it, yeah. Speaking um, of, someone, someone, someone oh. said I look like someone from there. The Th- Theon, I think his name is. Who? The- Theon? I don't watch it. The- I don't Theon? Theon. Oh, Theon. Yeah. I don't know. So someone's told you you look like this person? Yeah, someone at work today is like, did anyone ever told you you look like that guy? I said, no. I'm going to have a look. Maybe. I'm going okay. to fire up the internet now. Yeah. So if you, can hear, if you can hear tapping, I had someone text me actually saying, were you, were you tapping a pen during your podcast? I was like, <laughs> no. Theon. I'm going to assume it's three, Theon Greyjoy as it's the first thing that comes up. Sure. Uh, let's have a look. No, not really. Oh, that's uh, Lily Allen's brother, Alfie Allen. Oh. And, well, sure actually... Um, go and have a look. You, you, you do, but in a in a in a greasy, <laughs> I want to kill things type of way. Well, that does sound like me. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, this picture absolutely looks like you. Um, I can't. There's no way of me showing the people, but uh, <laughs> there's a one picture that does look like you actually. Yeah. Oh yeah, got the shaggy hair, beard going on. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. I'll, t- I'll take that. I'll take that as a compliment. I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Randall. Guy from work. <laughs> <laughs> Fair uh, enough. This is uh, right. What else we got? Very distracted there. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, Uncharted: Lost Legacy coming out on PS4 on August twenty second. Super excited for this. That'd be it's going to be really, really good. Um, yes. I have ultimate faith that this will be nothing short of excellent. Oh yeah, of course. It's Uncharted. They can do no wrong at this point. Yeah, Naughty yes, dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it'd be so un naughty dog ish for it to be garbage. Uh, there's just no <laughs> yeah, way that's totally. happening. It's it's gonna be good for sure. Yep, for sure. For sure. Very excited for that. Same. Um, on August twenty fifth, we have F one two thousand seventeen. Looks great. Must be said. I've not played the last few years worth of F one games, but this one looks really really good. Um, and if, I know you're probably not into F one. Uh, no, my dad, my dad loves F one. Well, used to. He doesn't love it anymore. But. Uh, yeah, so I sort of like saw it into it, like from my dad, but I know the first thing about it, other than it's really hard games. The games are really hard. hard. There's a very <laughs> steep learning curve with the games, but yeah. uh, it's pretty cool because if you you can do like an online co-op season, because obviously there's two cars per team, oh, and yeah. you can uh, you can go through the whole season sort of racing as a team, which is very very cool. I think um, these games are usually worth a look, and they're usually very popular. I'm assuming they are because they keep getting made. So, yeah, um, yeah this this one does look good. The graphics look phenomenal this year, actually. It must be said. Cool. Uh, I remember having an F1 game on PS1 back in the day. Was um, it just called, you mean Formula 1 that everybody had? Probably. <laughs> yeah, that was I a remember. good game. That was a really good game. Yeah, I remember used to go and drive backwards and had like the commentary on it. It's insane. Oh, it's going the wrong way. I used to love that as a kid. I don't know why. Yeah, a bit, bit of Murray Walker. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Murray Walker. That's a name. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> We know uh, sports. I know sports. <laughs> Speaking of sports, uh, same day, uh, Madden NFL 18. Okay. For people who like baseball. Um, <laughs> August 29th, 
We have uh, Ark Survival Evolved coming out on PS4, Xbox One. Wait, what? That's already out? It's out on... I think it's out, like... A physical um, release? Is that what they're doing? They're bringing a physical release out of it, or... Maybe. What? I think well, it's on, like, some early stage, like... Uh, whatever you call it? Early access? I don't know, man. I think... Because it was on early access on Xbox One. Yeah. And then, after that, after it sort of came out of early access, uh, I'm pretty certain that's when they brought it out on PS4. Yeah, right. So, but I don't know if there's a physical release of it. Maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe. That's the one with the woman riding the dinosaur, right? On the cover. Um, I think so. Okay. Is, is, is the game about dinosaurs, yeah? Oh, yeah, it is, yeah. So you've got a gun in her hand. This is, like, leaning back. Yeah. Okay. It, look, it, I mean, it looks cool. It, it certainly sounds like something I would enjoy because I love dinosaurs and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, it looks But, um, yeah, I just don't have time to play it, so I'm not going to. Same. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> Sorry, same day. Yuck. Yeah, sorry. The same day we have Everybody's Golf on PS4. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, me and Denzel were talking about this actually because we we love a golf game, hmm. um, so we like playing the golf club and stuff like that. But this um, is completely different to that. Not serious whatsoever. Um, More casual thing. Um, Everybody's Golf is like the um, the big headed Japanese type avatars. Oh that, yeah, um, and it's very it's a very Sony type game, very sort of right. We had this on the PS One and the PS Two and all that, so we'll just bring one out. Anyway, so yeah, it looks really cool, uh, worth checking out. Not serious at all. It's very much a uh, uh, a, f- a non sports fan friendly golf game. Yeah, that's interesting. Maybe I'll like give it a try. I think you know. I think you probably would like it actually, Finn. I really yeah. do. It would make a good stream also as well, wouldn't it? It hmm. would actually. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, we have to try that one. Cool. Uh, what else we got? We have a game called uh, Hello Neighbor coming out on Xbox One and PC. Hello been, Neighbor? Yeah, that's been on um, Early Access for a while on PC. It's like a horror okay. game. You go into like your neighbor's house to like look because you're looking around and like he just turns up and chases you around. Oh, I okay. Know. Well, that yeah. sounds interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's, I don't even know much about it other <laughs> than like a couple of YouTube videos I've seen, but it's got a lot of like positive reactions so far. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. So just on Xbox One and PC, right? Oh, uh, yes, so far. Okay. Uh, same day, 29th, uh, we have Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle on Switch. Oh, that's soon as well. I didn't realise it was that close. Yeah, yeah. This is another one that's a weird one, that, but has got a lot of like positivity around it. Like, everyone who's previewed it and said it's really good. Yeah, I've seen a bit of video, actually, for this, and it does look pretty interesting. I still find the concept both weird and baffling. <laughs> and yes. Yeah, I'm very. still struggling a little bit to compute why these two are in the same world. But yeah. hey, video Otherwise. games and Nintendo, right? So totally fuck us. What do we know? It's ba- yeah, it's basically like a XCOM, but with Mario and rabbits. Very of weird. course, of course, it is. Yeah, very weird. But I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll probably buy it and play it. <laughs> sure, <laughs> it's, it's very Mario in it. It's, so it's sure. very you, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Shut up. You love the rabbits. That's what you love. Oh yeah, absolutely. Love me with some some rabbits, raven rabbits. Yeah, man. <laughs> I had I had the first one on the Wii, I think. What, Rayman rabbit? Yeah, like had like oh, okay. Rayman, Rayman something. Yeah. Yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, wasn't it? Weren't they part of one of the Rayman games, like the bad guys or something? And I think so. Something like that. I no, t- no. for me, it just didn't seem like they were cool enough to have a spin-off. No. But for some reason, there's loads of games with rabbits in, and I, I don't understand. I just don't. Ubisoft loved them for some reason. Oh, Ubisoft. Oh, Ubisoft. Yeah. Come on, Ubi. <laughs> Uh, on the uh, 29th, same day, we have Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition. Just like... Come again? The, uh, Pillars of Eternity Complete Edition. It's the, the version with all the DLC with it, I imagine. I don't even know what Pillars of Eternity is. It's uh, like RPG, kind of, top down RPG kind of thing. You date it. Fair <laughs> enough. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> uh, we have uh, a game called Red Out on PS4 and Xbox One. Red on Out? Day. Red Out, yeah. Uh, What's that about? Don't know. No description. Once again. Awesome. Cheers, games. But this is awesome. It's a driving slash racing game, apparently. Oh, really? Apparently so. Driving slash racing game? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's a Wipeout-inspired racer. Apparently. Shrug. 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 It'd be fine, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, it'd be great. (laughs) We have. (laughs) We have Warriors All-Stars on PS4 and PC on August 29th. 
which is like a Dynasty Warriors game with a bunch of crossover characters. Jesus, um, how are these games still being fucking made? There's a million of them. <laughs> there's, there's so many. Because they're fun, weirdly, in yeah, a weird way. Once you've played one, you've played all of them. Pretty much. But I like them. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm going really, it's really dark where I am at the minute, so I'm going to have to turn the light on in a second. You can, okay. We'll, we'll just make it part of the podcast. Sure, just why not? me flicking the light. I think I did it last week as well, or the last time we recorded. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, we've got Windjammers coming out on uh, PS4 and PC, PS, blah, blah, plays in the meter on 29th. Nice. I have asked That's for cool. a, a code for that, actually. I hope they come through with that, because uh, if not, I'll just buy it. But yeah, yeah. I, re- I really want to play it. Classic, classic uh, arcade action. It's basically what inspired Disc Jam. If you saw us play that on YouTube, yeah, um, pretty much. it's basically the inspiration behind that. And this will probably be better and more popular than Disc Jam, which is a shame. Because Disc Jam's fun, <laughs> but there's, I don't think there's a big enough community to really make it the success that it perhaps should have been. Yeah, Could yeah. Been. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, it's a fun game, though. Um, once again, August 29th, busy day. Uh, we have uh, XCOM. Day. Yeah. We have XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, which is a new... Uh, Expansion for the coming out on BC. We suck at that game. We do. I'm, I'm terrible at it. Like, beyond belief, we suck at that game. Uh, yeah. I was trying to make a whole series of it, like, in having characters from uh, Daydreamer, or I guess before it was pre Daydreamer, so I'm from Sunny and Finn. Um, What's that? What's that relic of a channel? I know, yeah. <laughs> Remember that? Jeez. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I started to suck so hard that everyone's died immediately. I was just like, oh, well, that was that, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but did give did Griff give Griff his surname, Griff Gara. So there you go. Yeah, that's true. You're welcome, <laughs> Griff. Yeah, well done, Griff. And he's still <laughs> stuck with it now as well. So yes. uh, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff, Griff. <laughs> I'm really going to uh, turn the light on it because I'm, otherwise I'm going to be like in darkness in a minute. You're going to literally just be able to see the whites <laughs> of my eyes shining off the laptop. So all right, uh, you can do that. Do do some talking. Meanwhile, I'll talk about Yakuza Kiwami, which is the remake of the first Yakuza game coming out on PS4. Um, I love Yakuza. I'll play the first three. Still have, I have, but I haven't played four and five. These got on that at some point. Maybe I'll stream them. And uh, I want to play Zero as well. Because Yakuza is excellent. Isn't it, Sonny? Yes. Good. Uh, after that, we have uh, Life is Strange Before the Storm coming out on August 31st. as the prequel to Life is Strange, which is yet another game in my backlog, which I haven't played. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. I'm back, oh, by back. the way. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm excited for that. I've not finished Life is Strange yet, but I'm still excited for it because I think Life is Strange is excellent. I am going to finish it off, but um, yeah, I'm. I'm. So many people are uh, excited that this has a sequel. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. I'll need to play the first one still, but uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, how do you feel about Yakuza Kiwami, by the way? Yeah, I'm excited for that. Although I've, you know, I've barely touched <laughs> Yakuza Zero, but this is the first one remade, isn't it? It is. Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm with it. You know, I'm I'm excited for it because those games are awesome. It's uh, it's Shenmue without being Shenmue. Pretty much, yeah, like a spiritual successor almost. Yeah, good stuff. And uh, also, last game on the list is uh, Resident Evil Revelations coming out yet again <sighs> on PS4 and Xbox One. It's come out and everything else, and now it's come out on PS4 and Xbox One. God I Almighty! I don't know why they're bothering. To be honest, no, I don't either. It's stupid. I just. It was good on 3DS, but it doesn't need to come out on everything. <laughs> but that's the thing, though. You can get every Resident Evil game on any console that you own. This is true. You can't get 2 and 3 yet on PS4. Waiting for that. On my Yeah. Get them to me. Still, though, <laughs> I, I don't know why they're doing that. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I don't know why they're bothering. But, uh, yeah, that's we've got a lot of games coming out this month, but uh, that's that's all I've got. They just made the list they just of made games the list. coming out in August. Yeah. Now, Finn, before we start talking wrestling, I was going to, I've got something to show you. Okay. Check this out. Martin Dixon sent me this. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Ultimate Muscle on Ooh. the GameCube. Ultimate Muscle? Yeah. Google it. It's a, it's a Japanese wrestling game using anime characters, using the AKI engine that is Ooh. used in such popular titles as WrestleMania 2000, WCW NWO Revenge, WWF No Mercy and the excellent Def Jam Vendetta. All the, all the good ones. All the good ones. Yeah, basically all the good <laughs> ones, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've seen it before. I haven't played it yet and it looks batshit crazy, but 
it's wrestling, wrestling. and I have wrestling. to play it. So absolutely. I have a speaking, game speaking of wrestling, yes, and video games, yes. Today they released the first screenshot for WWE 2K18. Oh really? Oh, yes. I've seen it. And it's Seth Rollins looking rather shiny and rather <laughs> ripped. Ah, oh, fair enough. Um, Rusev commented on it and it, shiny he put, ripped. He put ab. He put abs heavy. Or something like that. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they're using a new graphics engine, and the couple of pictures that they have released does make it look very good. Now, whether that translates into the full game or mm. not is remains to be seen. But you know, one screenshot does make it look very cool and very realistic. So, fingers crossed. Everything, yeah, think- everything crossed. Yeah, please, please be good this time, please. Mm. Please. Please. <laughs> yeah. So, let's talk Battlegrounds. Now, we don't need okay. to go through it because, you know, we've had a week off, so people would have already been well and truly over Battleground. Yeah. So, what I think we should do is just run through the matches and our predictions, and that's it. Okay. Right. Um, so, first one we have is uh, Tiny Ninja versus Aiden English on the pre-show. Uh, we both said Ty would win. We were both wrong. Looks like Aiden English is getting a push. He's what the lot, hell do we know? We yeah, know seriously. nothing. We've yeah, been doing this nothing. for 68 episodes and we know shit. Yeah, seriously. Uh, so yeah, well, like, I'm happy that Aiden is getting the push. I think he deserved it. I like his uh, singing gimmick that everyone hates. Yeah, it makes um, me laugh. Yeah, I like yeah. it. It's good stuff. I uh, don't understand what's happening with Ty Dillinger. Um, it looks like they brought him to the main roster just to have the same run that he had in NXT. Lose yeah. all the time. It's a shame, isn't it? I think, I think I've said it like hundred times already, but I think they lost the opportunity with Ty because like the ten chance were super hot one minute, but it's, it's starting to pass now. It's they're dying down a lot, and it's like you see something soon, or you're going to miss it completely. Which, yeah, which is a shame. I, it's it's a real shame because he's such a talent and. You know, did really connect with the fans, you know, with the whole 10 thing, but you are right, it has died down. He wasn't even on SmackDown this week, and yes. I don't know, it's just it's a real shame, it really is. But you know, anybody who didn't see this coming is a fool, yes, shame. Hmm. Uh, the first match of the actual show was the uh, New Day versus the Usos, New Day, New Day, and it's probably the match of the night as well, uh, easily match of the night. Easily. Uh, very, very good match. Excellent tag team match. Um, great showing by Xavier Woods as well. Yeah, um, these the, the two teams have great chemistry. It no, oh, yeah. you know, must be said. They really do have great chemistry. The Usos have really come into their own since their heel turn and they're doing some of their best work of their careers and, you know, their WWE run for sure. Uh, this was a really great match. Great showcase for both teams. Mm, absolutely. Um, so, uh, so I had the Usos to win. You had a new day. And uh, New, Day, New Day won, getting their uh, first SmackDown tag team title. Um, so you get a point there. Ding, ding. Um, yeah, great rest. I think Xavier Woods is uh, one of the under, under, uh, underrated wrestlers they have got the roster right now. I would say he's underrated too. I think uh, I think he is very, very good. He's just, he's just He seems like a very smart wrestler as well. Not smart. Mm. I mean, he's smart academically anyway. But, you know, he just seems like a very smart in-ring technician. And I, I have a lot of time for that. Yeah, I like his elbow job. He does some like half way across the ring. Crazy. Yeah, me too. It's awesome. Uh, then we had um, Baron Corbin versus Nakamura, and um, it was fine. I guess. It was fine. It was okay. Yeah, it's very kind of slow. Mm. It was a very Baron Corbin type match. Yeah, I thought it could have been better. I was expecting better, but I don't know. It was fine. Yeah. He didn't, he didn't really need to. Uh, we both said Nakamura would win. Uh, we were both right. And, uh, yeah, make a point there. Two ones Ding. a year. And after the match, um, Baron Corbin attacked him with a briefcase. Because of course he, he did. Because of course he did. Because he's Baron because, Corbin. That's what, because he's a bad guy, that's why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> then we had the uh, women's fragile five-way elimination match. It was uh, Charlotte versus Becky versus Amina versus Lana versus Natalia. <laughs> and um, I forgot who won. It was shy, wasn't it? <laughs> it was a bit. Uh, who won? Was it for the title? Uh, no, it's for the number one contendership. Um at SummerSlam. I can't remember who won either. Uh, oh, oh, Natalia. That was it. Natalia of won. course Natalia won. Yeah, yeah, Natalia Which won. Which is really so weird. <laughs> the, the, match was, the match was terrible as well. It just, yeah. 
these some of these things sometimes they work sometimes they don't i mean everybody gets their moves in all that sort of stuff but nah, for me it just didn't work i hate when they wwe do this thing where when they have these like multi-person elimination matches they wrestle for ages and nobody mm. gets eliminated and then all of a sudden there's about three eliminations in the space of about 30 seconds and it yeah. happens in every single one of these matches and it's crap it is a bit was Lana it's me not looking good in this match <laughs> at all Mm-mm. um we all know what the best thing about Lana is yes the music her music yes absolutely absolutely, absolutely her music always her music <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to it on Spotify just uh, before we. Uh, oh yeah, he said we hooked up on Skype tonight. Yeah, oh dear. Uh, so yeah, the match ended with like a really just shitty looking roll up by Natalia after oh, I failed me. For sake, that's another oh, thing. Yeah, make it look bad. fucking convincing. Yeah, oh, exactly. Rolled up into rolls. the corner turnbuckle and it's like, oh well, that's it. Yeah, I, yeah, I hated that actually. It just, it just didn't look convincing. Yeah. Only both had of who do we have? Uh, I said they'd be Shenanigans going to know the win, so I was wrong there. And they uh, used it Lana would win, so neither would get a point. We suck at this, to be honest. We suck. We we're not very good. <laughs> so we have uh Aza Stars versus Kevin Owens, which was good, but then a weird ending. Which yeah. I'm not sure was a botch or not, but I don't think it was a botch. I think it was intentional. I just I was shocked. I was shocked by the outcome. Yeah, so we've got knocked down. Um then Kevin Owens rolled up. No, wait. Yeah, Kevin Owens rolled up AJ, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, Kevin Owens won the title back. Yeah, that was it. And uh, yeah, just like weird, weird sudden ending. It made no sense to have the referee get knocked out. They were just going to pin him normally. Weird. Very um, strange. And I was, I mean, I think we both had AJ to win, didn't we? We did, yep. So both wrong there. We're not very good. No, nope, <laughs> we're not. We are not good at all. Not at all. <laughs> but it was, anyway. you know, it was a good match as expected. I mean, these two every time they, every time they fight, they have a great match. Uh, this yeah. was no exception, and they had a match on SmackDown this week, which was great as well, which I'm sure mm. we'll come to. But yeah, they, they have great chemistry. They really yes. do. Uh, so we had uh, John Cena versus Rusev in the flag match. Uh, so basically, the goal was to grab the flag from the ring and get it to your podium, which is at the top of the ramp. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was better than I thought it would be. It was fine not, from a wrestling not, point of view, but yeah. the flag match itself fucking sucks. I mean, come it's on. It's like, <laughs> to what annoyed me even more is like half the ramp was the American flag and I couldn't tell if the other half of the ramp was Bulgarian flag or not. But, yeah, yeah. I mean, the Titan Trons had half and half, but it's, <laughs> it's just such a cheesy and garbage concept. Yeah, it is a bit. And uh, there was only ever going to be one winner. Yep, because America... Lots of wins. Absolutely because of America. Like, <laughs> I, I woke up to a spoiler. I looked on Twitter foolishly in the morning yeah, and it says, it. he's done it for America. John Cena wins. I just thought, <laughs> that sums uh, this up, doesn't it? Like, yeah. This sums that match up. He's done it for America. America. <sighs> Sorry. So I should both had Gina to win that. We should break it a point there. 3-2 to you. Ding, Yay, ding, ding. ding. <laughs> then we had the uh, very funny Fashion X-Files. <laughs> Which still hasn't ended. It still hasn't ended. It's still ongoing. The one this week is very funny. Yes, um, it was funny, yeah. And yeah, so uh, the dissension was at the Eddie Money concert, so it couldn't have been them. Um, and they both freak out at the sight of the Fandango's poor decapitated horse. <laughs> and then the lights go out, Breeze is knocked unconscious, and Fandango is knocked out and dragged away. <laughs> and he's gone missing ever since. To be continued. Very funny. I just don't... I mean, the ascension have yeah. added a lot of comedy to these segments. I, oh, yeah, very really. I wish they were being used properly, but, you know, if their days are numbered in WWE, then they may well just them. do this with them. Yeah, but, why not? Um, I, see, I mean, I thought it was going to end at Battleground, and it only got weirder, so <laughs> who knows when this is going to end. They could, I think they'll probably drag it out to SummerSlam now. Probably. I think because uh, I think WWE have just seen that these are so incredibly popular. Yeah, yeah. That they just thought, well, we don't really need to end them now. Let's just carry on, L- I guess. Let's milk it. Yeah. Let's milk <laughs> it until people w- are well and truly sick of it. <laughs> and then we'll disappoint them all at SummerSlam by making it something well and truly garbage. Yeah, I'd like to see an interesting, interesting thought. It might be like uh, Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, Rowan like teaming I up. I don't want that. I don't know. It could be cool. Yeah, Maybe. But, I don't understand why people want this. We're like we've seen it a million times. It's like 
they just they split them up and they both go solo and then it's like oh we don't actually know what to do with these guys so yeah but you better put them back together again yeah but you better they never were given like a proper tag team run so it could be cool they were tag team champions weren't they for a little while yeah for like a week maybe oh okay (laughs) yeah I, I, I think it could be cool maybe Maybe. Maybe I'm. I'm not really into that. I want it to be something else. But I don't. I don't but the problem thing is, I don't know what I want it to be. Just something <laughs> else. <laughs> something else. Something good. Yeah. <laughs> if, uh, it, so if, it's, if it turns out to be Luke Harper and Eric Rowan, I'll be. I'll be. Just be like. Bleh. Yeah, I guess so. Bleh. 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 <laughs> so we have uh, Sammy Zayn versus Mike Kanellis. Um, it was fine. Yep, I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> actually. In truth. Yeah, me too. Um, um, I wanted I wanted Mike Kanellis to win. Yeah, me too. It made sense. The, the de- debuting superstar, uh, so so everyone has got, and neither loses. Yeah, I mean he's got great music. <laughs> he does. Um, and he's I love Maria so much. Maria's great. Yeah, <laughs> it's just coming to her a lot. I, I, to no, see I, the I mean I love Maria. Oh yeah, she's very pretty as well. Yeah, mm, I love her. <laughs> she's, she's very pretty. Um, Genuine love. <laughs> but it was it was a no game match it was nothing special no it was nothing uh, special and Sammy wins and it's like well okay yeah. I mean yeah. who, do, who do we have here did we both have Mike Canellis to win we did yeah both had Mike so we both need to get a point so it's again still three, again so it's still 3-2 to you and then and then then we had the Punjabi prison match with uh, Jinder Mahal versus Randy Orton oh boy <laughs> The the concept of this match is ridiculous. It's dumb. There's the, too many balls. Yeah, it's it, and, to, and yeah, exactly. It's just so it's such a weird like combination of rules. It's like right, you can ask for the doors to be open, but they're only going to be open for a minute. Yeah, and then, but then, and like, then once the doors close, you can't open it again. And that's it. Yeah. And then it. Tom Phillips was like, "Oh, the doors are closed forever." It's like what? What do you mean yeah, the doors yeah. are closed forever? So once it, once it's open, once it can't be open again. So it means if all the door, four doors close, you have to climb out. It was me think, why did you just climb out in the first place? It's stupid. Why bother with the doors? Yeah. I know. It just, just seems like a ridiculous idea. And whoever's thought of it needs a real good kick in the face. Yeah. I always think if your announcer has to like go with the ball of the match before the match starts, then your match is too complicated. Yep. <laughs> like, there's no need for that. Like, and if nobody in the arena knows what's going on either because they can't see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you seen some of those photographs? I haven't actually. Like, no. There's it's some the photographs from uh, people who have like paid for ringside seats. Oh, and they can literally see nothing through that Punjabi prison. <laughs> it's That's a horrible dumb. looking structure. It's ridiculously enormous. The rules are garbage. Yep. It's garbage. And you can only have that match if you have an Indian person in it, apparently. So, <laughs> apparently so. Like, it, it, you know, it can be brought out. Like WWE, that's why, probably why Jinder's champion. Why? Well, because, because of India? We, no, well, no, because of the Punjabi prison. Oh, of course, yeah. Well, because of in- <laughs> well, probably because of India as well, but yeah, <laughs> mainly it's like right. We need to. We, we've made this Punjabi prison. We need to really get our money's worth out of it. So, Jinder's the champion because of India. We can have this match. So, <laughs> yeah, that and was dumb. It sucks. Well yeah, and truly sucks. Also, don't the, do it again. Yeah, was the gaps between the thing were massive. I was like, can you just like climb through? In fact, one of them did. One of the Singh brothers. Yeah, one of the did. Singh brothers did, didn't they? Why can't Mandy could probably do that? One of the Smith, one of the Smith brothers. One <laughs> of the Smith brothers, yeah. Because you know, um, common names. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. So it was, it was a, it was a mess of a match. Uh, so right at the end, um, one Randy's the, about. To, wait, 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 one of the Smiths did take an, an, uh, a nice looking tumble from. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, yeah. The top of the uh, Punjabi prison. Yeah, he was climbing up on the outside, trying to stop Randy from getting out, and then uh, Randy punched him off and threw him right off the edge. Up the top and uh, through an announce table. I'm yeah. pretty certain those the, the Smith brothers are there to just be thrown all over the place because they're little. <laughs> pretty much, yeah. yeah. They do a good job of it as well. They do, the Smith <laughs> brothers do do a good job of it. I'd like to see them wrestle. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, they're okay. They're okay. No, especially now, now, like, yeah, especially now that they're not using the Bollywood boys gimmick, which I hated. <laughs> yeah. now, now that they're the Smith brothers, I'm. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see if they're actually going to wrestle or not, or whether they're just going to wear. Terrible coloured shirts and uh, follow Jinder Mahal around. Yeah, oh, I see that. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of spots, lots of weirdness. At one point, there were kendo sticks involved. Uh, I don't know. 
And then as... <laughs> well, that's the only <laughs> weapon that was underneath the ring. Because, Pretty much, because, be, because India. Because India, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and as, uh, as Randy Orton was about to escape, uh, Jinder's music played. And who's it going to be? Bloody Grey Carly is back in WWE. Urgh. Carly. Why? I, I know because India, but why Carly? He's so shit. Well, you answered your own question there, didn't you? Because yeah. India. That's exactly why. He's so um, shit. He's always been shit. He's, uh, he's, he's a fade over wrestler. He can barely walk, let alone wrestle. I hate <laughs> him. He's, he's, he's literally my least favourite wrestler of all time. He's really? Honest. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I, well, I hate Jinder. I, I don't Jinder. I like Jinder. Um, I hate um, bloody Carly. He's us. What I didn't understand was when his music, when Jinder's music played, and then it said Jinder's, Jinder's Titantron was there as well. Yeah, yeah. It was like, why is does, this? Does it throw people off? I don't know. But, or, I don't know. Or sorry. I, I don't know, I'm just... <laughs> I just thought it was weird. I mean, has Carly even been on TV since then? Um, I don't think... No, he hasn't actually, no. Um, so is he back or is he not back? Or is it just because India in the Punjabi prison or... I don't know. I think he is coming back. I, I'd imagine he'll be around again. I don't want him to. I hope he disappears forever. But what I also didn't like is that after Jinder won, like Great Khali kept holding the title up like he oh won. Oh god, that sucks. I hate that so much. Like, don't give him the title. Don't put that image out there. He's not going to be champion. Do not give him the championship <laughs> again. Please don't. <laughs> this is the same guy who was the Punjabi playboy before he left. Exactly. I was going to say the same thing. He was dancing around the horns, woggle. He's Punjabi playboy. It was garbage. Awful. See, when he first came in, <laughs> and he was like, he beat the Undertaker <laughs> for the championship. Uh, yeah, this guy beat the Undertaker up. for the World Heavyweight Championship. Yeah, he did. That was rubbish as well. He couldn't even even the Undertaker could make him look good. He does struggle to. He's not very mobile, is he, the Great Carly? He's not. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, to be honest, I don't want him to come back. I don't need him to come back. I didn't need him to make an appearance at the Punjabi prison. I just don't need him. I don't. It's, it's awful. Nobody does. Nobody does. Nobody wants him. Except India, apparently. Oh, India, <laughs> the, you know, he's so popular. He's huge in India. In both, there, yeah. sense of the ter- in both you know, sense of the terms. He's huge as in, he's huge. But he's huge as in, like, he's a massive star. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why. The, I mean, if you know, I, I get that you want to make more money in India. But this is the way on. to do it. There's, don't, there's... Don't, don't ruin your main event scene by being Carly in there. Just, just because of India. Yeah, exactly. You, you can break. You, you've broken India enough by having an Indian World Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> you don't need yeah, yeah. to milk it by having <laughs> yeah. the, your, you know, the, the great Carly come in for no real reason. Oh yeah. Is it so bad? It's making me yawn. Just thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, Carly sucks. <laughs> All right, so Jinder Mahal won. So that means uh, we both had Jinder to win because he was always going Jinder. to win, right? Uh, yes. So, so that uh, means I win three two. You do you win four three actually. A four three. Yes, well done. Another point to you. Which brings Thank the you grand total. Which grand total up to uh, nine six to you. Damn. <sighs> Three ahead, and we're you know we're we're getting through this year as well. We are. I've got to catch up to do. Yeah, you have. <laughs> um, yes, you can hear me rustling program. around today. By the way, I'm sitting on a bean bag. Oh. I've uh, changed my position for the podcast. You can see stuff behind me and all this sort of stuff. This is going to change over the next few weeks. There's going to be some stuff go up on this wall, and it's going to be all podcast e ish. Podcastiest ish. Cool. Yes. Um <laughs> yeah, so I'm sitting on a beanbag rustling around like uh, like the hipster that I am. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Um so what was back down? Um I won't go over the what was back down after Battleground, because that was a week two weeks ago now. Um the only thing to note of of note was that uh, Kurt Angle announced a fatal four way for um uh, SummerSlam for the Indiana title, which is uh Samoa Joe versus Roman Reigns versus uh Braun Strowman versus uh uh, big old Brocky boy. Hmm. Which is, uh, cool. I think Brock will lose. I called it. Yeah. Uh, he will. They pretty much spoiled it this week by saying that if I don't win, I'm going to quit. So, okay, you're going to quit then and that's going to be it. Cool. Yeah, and he's going to go to, uh, I mean, the rumour is he's going to uh, go fight for UFC again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'd love that as well. Because he was called out by um, a UFC fighter. UFC is incredibly scripted in my opinion these days. <laughs> like, these yeah. things are just like, right, after you win, Please call out Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Why just do it randomly? Who cares? Yeah, yeah, Brock Lesnar. I'm talking to you. You're a wrestler, and I want to beat you up. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not into it. I'm not with it at all. Um, oh, UFC, I don't like, I'm not really a big UFC fan anyway. But um, no. yeah, so I think Brock will. I mean, I think Paul Heyman's pushing for Samojo to win the title at SummerSlam. That'd be awesome. S- and so Brock can have time to go away and train to fight John oh. Jones in the UFC. Cool. Uh, I'd love to see um, Samoa Joe as champion. That'd be amazing. I'd be awesome. It'd be so awesome. So awesome. I'm ready for that. <laughs> yeah, I was ready. Uh, so what happened this week? Um, let's go through more notes here. Uh, Jason Jordan has new music, and it sucks. Of course it does. Everyone's new music sucks, apart from Lana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I don't know what it is recently with new music, uh, but everything sucks. Like Seth Rollins this week had a burn it down added to his like the gap in his engine team. It's like burn it down. It's like what the Jesus was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. At first, I didn't know what it was. I thought it's someone was shouting it. I was like, what? What? What's going on? But no, it's just part of the music, I guess. It sucks. Jesus, what? I don't understand why I mess around. Why? Why mess with it? I know it's fine. I was. I like this theme. But, but, but it. That's got burn it down <laughs> in the middle of it for no yeah. reason at all. What's the fuck well, point? It. Yeah, we've got it on the t-shirt now. It's new. It's new gimmick, I guess. Ah, of course. So now, oh, oh. right, okay, sure. So now, he now that's going to be a thing going forward. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we had um, Seamus versus Seth Rollins. And I think they're going to go for Seth Rollins and Dean versus uh, Seamus and Zaro for the Tag Team Championships and SummerSlam. Don't like it. Nah, it's chilled. Mm, too soon. Um, yep. One yep. One thing I do like is that uh, Zaro and Seamus have started doing the like fusion dance pose from Dragon Ball Z. It's like <laughs> the thing. One of those. I'm doing on camera now. It's, I like it. There you um, go. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that was a match. It was cool. It was fine. Um, they tried to beat up uh, Seth after the match. Uh, Dean came down to try, try and help, but got beaten up himself. Uh, so I was, I was like, well, too bad there wasn't a third moment. There was never a third moment with the Shield. He could have come and helped. <laughs> yeah, it's a real shame. Uh, apparently, yeah, he's, he's too selfish and tied up in his own uh, his, so. his own stuff that he's doing at the minute. So uh, I don't know, man. I'm not sure this is going to... I mean, all signs point to it being... Yep, Dean and Seth versus Cesaro and Sheamus at SummerSlam for the titles. But would it just be cool if it built up to this and then Dean and Seth just had a massive fallout and brawl and it was actually Seth versus Dean at SummerSlam instead? That'd be cool. I'd about to see that. <laughs> Unless that's what they're going to build to after this because, maybe you know, obviously Cesaro... Is, I, I, I don't envisage uh, Cesaro and Sheamus losing the titles. Hmm. Might be that. Uh, not to them anyway. Or yeah. we get this thing where they're not really friends, but they're only friends to take on Cesaro and Sheamus. Um, because, you know, Cesaro and Sheamus keep getting the better of them or whatever. And then because of this, they just happen to win the tag team titles. Yeah, maybe. I, th- I mean, that's a very WWE thing to happen. I mean, it's happened oh, yeah. so many times down the years. People don't like each other. They end up winning the tag team titles. Then they become... I mean, fucking hell, Cesaro and Sheamus. Well, yeah, there you go, exactly. <laughs> oh, dear. I love that gimmick. Um, so, during the middle of the, like, mid-cut middle of the show, we had a really good match between uh, Samoa Joe, Braun Strowman, and Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. I was like, why Why isn't this the main event? I know, I, d- I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't understand WWE's logic these days of match placement. Because this yeah. is, I mean, that that's, th- you know, three of your four main event guys for SummerSlam. Yeah, and it's just like putting him in the match right there. It's like in the middle of the match, in the middle of the card. It's like, why? Because that match, match will go on last at SummerSlam. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So why, why is it in the middle of Raw? I don't know. Yeah, very strange. Uh, but it was good, and of course, Roman won, because of course he did. Because Lol. Uh, because Lol Roman wins. So Bobby Joe took the pin as well, which pissed me off. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah, it's fine. Sure. Uh, then we had Elias Sampson. Is it, wait, no, we don't. It's Elias. They've taken away his surname. Oh. Rip. Rip Sampson. <laughs> uh, yep, that's right. WWE, Vince just hates surnames. He does. I'd say this one. One is going to be like a wrestler called Adrian Antonio Langston Sampson. It's like well, <laughs> he's got all, he's got all the names. Everyone, everyone's lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, Antonio Cesaro. Yeah, Adrian nice. Neville. Yeah. Why take his surname away? I don't know. Oh, I so don't know. shit! So What's the point? <laughs> I just don't get it. Like, oh, yeah, okay. So, yeah, so he, he sang a song, he ate, he ate Spitzberg, and then, then he beat up Callisto. Callisto. Because, eh. you did You just did exactly what the commentators do there. What's that? Callisto, Callisto? and Callisto. Yeah. 
I did. I messed it up, didn't I? Yep. Sorry, Kal- sorry Kalisto. 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 Yep. <laughs> so, he's, so now he's in a feud with Kalisto, right? I, I don't know. Uh, I think it was just like a one-off match. I think he's in a feud with, um, I don't know, anyone. <laughs> oh, no, oh no, I was going to say Finn Balor, but no, he's in a feud with um, uh, uh, Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, yeah, yeah. So who knows? Great. He's in, he's in between feuds, I think, right now. <laughs> Did he find someone else? <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. But he's lost uh, his surname along the way, so good time. He did. Uh, so we had a, a slow and boring match between uh, Bailey and Nia, Nia Jax. Mm. Uh, it was slow and boring. We've seen this match before. Um, I'm not sure uh, about yeah. Nia. I'm not sure about Nia in the ring. I'm really not. Yeah. She's Bailey a bit clumsy to me. Yeah, she did do a, a cool new finisher like the week before. Did like a flippy sent on, which is cool. Who, Nia? Is, yeah, yeah, it's like a running flip sent on, which is cool with something that size. I thought it was cool. It's better than a Simone drop anyway. Better Anything, than a leg drop. Most things are better than a Simone drop and a leg drop. Yeah. <laughs> They're like uh, your, uh, creator rest, the, your default creator wrestler moves. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Um, yeah Mission Ubi Driver. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> everybody has that on that on WWE 2K17. Down and circle with almost anybody on that game <laughs> will do yeah. a Michinoku driver for fuck's <laughs> sake. Oh dear. Um, speaking of crap music, Big Gas versus Big Show was the main event. <laughs> Why and, is this uh, the main event? Don't know. And Big Gas has new music and it's still shit. It's <laughs> somehow even more generic than it was before. I don't know how they've done it. <laughs> I don't know how they've done it. Oh, God. Uh, God almighty. Why is this the main event? I don't know. Because I want to get Big Gas over. Why That's can't why. they get Big Gas's music right? I don't know. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, uh, I read um, just yesterday, actually, that then they have no idea what to do with Enzo. Who really? And apparently... I mean, we called this, didn't we? We were like, well, what happens to Enzo? Big Cass is fine because he can actually work. Because he's big. But Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. But Enzo, what does he do? Because he's not good enough to be in the Cruiserweight division... Mm. And he's not, it's not realistic enough for him to wrestle, well, anybody decent because he's not decent. He's crap. He sucks. He's a mouthpiece. Yeah, kind of. Sim- quite he simply, he's just a mouthpiece. Now, do you have him as just a manager? Yeah, I was going to say that. I think the manager might be the best way to go. I mean, the other option but is they might use him as a cost cutting measure. Oh, God. Yeah. Because Boy, he's so. not very well liked, apparently. Yeah, I've heard that as well. Backstage. Yeah. Apparently has a lot of against. heat backstage. Now, I read something the other day when he was in a strip club or something. He was being very <laughs> arrogant to a, a stripper. That's not what you want to be wrestlers, is it? About <laughs> his, strip clubs about, and being arrogant. And, and he was like bragging dick. about being high and stuff. And Oh, don't, Enzo, what are you doing? Well, no, it's, the thing is, <laughs> it's, it's like these people, Like, it, I mean, uh, this is no disrespect to strippers. You do a wonderful course. job. <laughs> yeah do you provide a great service you really do <laughs> but if you met if you're a stripper and you meet somebody famous that you could potentially make money off from like one of the you know trashy american gossip magazines yeah, yeah. or gossip sites you would do wouldn't you i guess so yeah so if you're enzo amore and you're a fucking knucklehead and you're brain dead <laughs> right, why would you go tell a stripper that you're high and then proceed to tell her how famous you are and who you are and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, not not smart by Enzo. Not Dumb smart. Ass. Yeah. To be honest, I, I I wouldn't really care less if he was gone. Yeah, I mean, he's a great talker, but that's, but that's it, it though, is, isn't it? That's, that's real. That is literally it. Hmm. Mm. Weird one. I'm happy for him to go. I don't care. Yeah. Same. Uh, yeah, but yeah, r- Victor r- versus r- Cass. Uh, it was fine. Uh, cast one, obs. <laughs> cast one, lol. Yeah, I won by DQ, which is weird because uh, Enzo tried to attack, attack him, and then Big Show punched him in the face and left on Enzo, and it was weird. <laughs> it was weird and dumb. And it was the main event, not the three main event guys. Yeah. What are they doing? Awesome. Awesome. But then we we'll move on to a great SmackDown. Yeah, SmackDown was excellent to speak. Wait, but you know what we haven't done? We haven't rated uh, Battle. Oh yeah. Oh, we haven't. Well, yeah, and that one. Um, wasn't great overall. D. Ooh, harsh. I'm gonna give it a C minus. But the mm. new day versus new, new day versus Usos was excellent. 
Very yeah, good. Yeah, everything else sucks, really, pretty much. Everything else, yeah. It was just the great. weird finishes. That's what it was. It was just a, a show of, of weird finishes. Yeah, and Greg Carly ruined everything. And Greg Carly, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was just... F minus. <laughs> <laughs> G for Greg Carly. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, it wasn't great, so I'm going for D. Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it a D. Marks, it would be an F if it wasn't for the great New Day versus Usos. Yeah, that was really good. Doesn't that? That's too good to give it an F. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Uh, so, and War, War gets a C minus. Sure. Just because just of stupid booking. Yeah, it's not great. But SmackDown, uh, however. SmackDown was excellent. Was good. Um, it's picked up, hasn't it? Picked up since Battleground. It has. Because last week was good as well. Like Jericho was there and. Oh, uh, Jericho, yeah. It's actually great. Um, good lads back. Yeah, but he's not really back, is he? I think it was just a one off. Maybe Fozzie were in town or something. I don't know. Oh, was it? Oh. That's, but he wasn't on it. SmackDown this week, was he? He wasn't. Oh, man. I think we'll see more. Jericho. Oh, well. He will be. He'll come back. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he will. Anyway, SmackDown. Uh, AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens. Great match. The US title. Awesome match. Very, very good. So, in very between good. Battlegrounds and this week's SmackDown. Uh, Kevin Owens won the title at Battleground, lost the title last week on SmackDown, mm-hmm. and lost again this week. Uh, yes, uh, via shenanigans. Uh, mm. Referee once again gets knocked down. These fragile refs. He's made of paper refs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For um, Christ's sake. AJ Styles rolled up Owens, but Owens very clearly had his shoulder up off the mat. Mm-hmm. It's the kind of thing might have, what supposed to have happened at Battleground, but never mind. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so AJ won, but didn't really because he shoulders up. And then Kevin Owens backstage, yelling against Shane, Shane McMahon and Danny Bryan, pushed over the referee, which is hilarious because I fell back into like a table or something. Yeah. <laughs> um, and Kevin's great as well. He's like sounded legit, really pissed off. Mm. Um, Daniel Bryan was good in this as well in this segment. I enjoyed yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're all good. Everyone, everyone involved is excellent. Yeah. Um, so he gets his rematch at SummerSlam, but Spencer gets the referee. It's going to be Shane McMahon. Hmm. Mm. Interesting. How do we see this one panning out? Do we see shenanigans here, or um, I don't know. I'm intrigued. Um, usually, with think... guest referee comes some sort of shenanigans, right? Yeah, I think it won't be intentional shenanigans. I think Kevin Owens will accuse him of shenanigans, but as he's attracted with yelling at Shane, uh, AJ will hit him with a phenomenal forearm or something and warm them up. Do you think this could lead to Kevin Owens versus Shane at some point? Then mm, maybe. I think interesting. That could be interesting. Okay, I'd be, I'm, I'm, I'm be into that. Yeah. Cool. Good stuff. Mm. Oh, speaking of theme music, <laughs> Usos have a new theme music. <laughs> and it sucks. Of course it it's, sucks. <laughs> Everyone's theme music it's, sucks. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's the same theme, theme music, but it got lyrics now. It, and it sounds terrible. They, they, they just cannot help themselves, can they? Yeah. It was fine. It sounded fine. I liked it. But they had added lyrics and it just sounds terrible. Ugh. It's generic as fuck. That's what it is. Yeah, pretty much. So mm. Usos did, did a um a promo. They rhyme now. I guess that's their thing. Yeah. Um, since their since their success in the rap battle, <laughs> yeah. Uh, WWE have seen money in this and just thought, mm, yes, mm, they can rhyme. Yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was a thing. Um, I don't even know what they said to be honest. Something, something, something. Us. Ah, yes. Us. That makes sense. Fam- I mean, it sounds about right. Family use. Us, us, us. And then we had another. Uh, uh, fashion Files, which is a Fashion Peaks to take on Twin Peaks. Um, Thanks for clearing. Thank, thank you for clearing that up. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> it's very funny. I love Twin Peaks, and this was excellent. Uh, like, wait, you like Twin Peaks? <laughs> yeah, Twin Peaks. It's cool. I watched it on Netflix. I watch, watch, watch back. Wait, you actually watch things on TV? Sometimes. <laughs> I'm surprised by this. This is a revelation. Yeah. No, Twin, Twin Peaks. Because I heard it had a good recommendation. Someone recommended it to me. I was like, okay, cool. I'll check it out. It sounds weird. I like weird. And yeah, I loved it. It was great. Fair enough. Cool. I look forward to the uh, new series they're making eventually. Hasn't it already been on? Has it? I think so. Oh, I need to watch it. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> um, this is very funny. Um, it's Bree just talking to a voice recorder, just like uh, in Twin Peaks. Uh, Fandango turns up. It's, it's like speaking backwards. He's wearing like a red shirt. The ascension are there. <laughs> One is holding a log, <laughs> pouring, ma- pouring maple syrup over the log. It's, nothing makes sense. It's like. No more metaphors. No more metaphors. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then like, to be continued. It was very weird. I liked it. I'm telling you, they are <laughs> going to drag this out to SummerSlam. And if it turns out to be the Ascension, <laughs> I might kick off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. I might just abuse um, everybody in WWE until I get blocked on Twitter by everybody. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, but no, that was very funny, and I enjoyed that a lot. Yes, me too. Um, so we had uh, Sami Zayn versus Aiden English. Um, in, in, in English sings it once again. Mm-hmm. And uh, ended up winning yet another match. He rolled up Sami Zayn for a quick win. And he's getting a good push. Thanks. Now, just a couple of weeks back, I said that Aiden English was probably heading for the release list. Yeah. Since this has happened, he's won two matches. <laughs> yeah. So two. Getting, getting released. That's two, get <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, Ty Dillinger. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is two more wins than Aiden English in the vo- like, had in the Vaude Villains on SmackDown, I think. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So he's, he beat Ty Dillinger, and now he's beat Sami Zayn. Now, this is definitely going to be a push, I think. Absolutely. I think but, it's great. I've logged his heel. I like him a lot. I do as well. And if he's going to keep stealing wins like this, because this was like a stealing win, like a roll-up, wasn't it? So. Oh, yeah, a quick roll-up. Um, I'm fine with it. You know, I, I like Aiden English. He's just, he's, yeah. he's a, a likable character. Yeah. Because it's just so annoying. <laughs> exactly, yeah. It's the, he, this one that puts him in the face. And that's a good thing. In yeah, this, it's, uh, it's, it's, yeah, it is. It's <laughs> a good thing. It's like a heel that you really fucking hate. But yeah, it's, exactly. It's, he's a likable heel. And it's yeah. weird. But um, yeah, I'm into it. I'm, I, I'm assuming this is, you know, him losing and Sammy being involved is all part of the Mike Kanellis Maria Canella storyline because obviously they came out after the match they did yeah uh, to this the greatest right. music of all time and literally said one sentence pretty much but just this to see sense. just to see Maria who I love <laughs> who's your wife your future wife yeah once he breaks up with uh, Mike <laughs> Sonny Canellis <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> we're gonna come down to that awesome entrance music this is good stuff <laughs> but uh, yeah uh, I'm fine with Aiden English winning uh, I think uh, you know Sammy doesn't really seem to care. He's happy to just lose to people. Um, <laughs> that's fine. Sammy. Uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, so we had uh, Becky Lynch and Naomi versus Italia and Gomez. Yeah, that's good. And it was, it was alright, actually. It wasn't that bad. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, Naomi won, uh, made Gomez out. It was fine. Uh, <laughs> so we had uh, Rusev versus Chad Gable. Uh, and this is oh, great showing by Chad Gable. This was awesome. Finn, very, this very was good. so good. So, now, so good. Again, I know Chad Gable lost, mm-hmm. but in losing, he looked amazing. He looks great. Yeah, it's so yeah. good. It's throwing throwing uh, Rusev around like it was nothing. Yeah, <laughs> so many suplexes, was, uh, German suplex. Great. He, I love the the series of belly to belly suplexes he did. Oh yeah, that was awesome. That was awesome. Um, obviously, he's going for the ankle lock because you know where's a unitard, so ankle lock, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Tax bracket did it. Yeah. Tony. Jason Jordan did it. Kurt Angle does it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uni- unitards. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, ag- again, this was one of those things where everybody was talking him up during the match. Like, JBL was like, this is a world-class athlete. And, like, he looks excellent. And they were really talking him up. And the fact that Rusev didn't squash him hmm. says to me that That's they good. have massive plans for Chad Gable. Now... Um, you know, Rusev even tweeted that he underestimated Chad Gable, and that they that again like praising Chad Gable. Yeah, good. Um, and this is a recurring theme. Now, what I think is going to happen is I think Chad Gable's going to lose a lot of matches. Think so? He's going to have like a losing streak, but he's going to be mm. given one opportunity, and he's going to win it, and it's going to be that that will be then the Chad Gable push. He'll take off. Yeah. I think that's what it'll be. It'll be like, okay, you've lost a lot of matches. Why do you deserve any sort of opportunity or something like that? And he'll take it and he'll win it. And then that is it. Chad Gable's star will completely rise. And he, you can just tell just by watching him in the ring that he, like her angle, he's a complete natural. Oh yeah, absolutely. Perfect for it's, pro wrestling. He it's so good. didn't need the Kurt Angle storyline thing. <laughs> no, no. Jordan did, because he was struggling. He was. Um, uh, out of the two, uh, Gable was definitely the better one. For really. sure. For sure, yeah. And I'm so excited by the prospect of Chad Gable getting a massive push. I really am. Yeah, me too. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, then we had, uh, after the match, we had what uh, Rusev saying stuff, and then uh, Randy Orton interrupted. Uh, so that's going to be reviewed. To and really make hope. no and to make nobody care instantly. Yes, because Randy Orton. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really hope Rizzo wins this feud because I'm bored of Randy now. He's boring. 
Yeah, me too. <laughs> I mean, I don't care. I don't understand why anybody would care about this crap. Yeah. It's just, like Randy yeah. Orton's just lost a load of times to Jinder Mahal. Why do we care about him <laughs> fighting Rusev now? Yeah. I don't, it's, it's so stupid. It's so, so stupid. So dumb. But, you know, what happens? What happens? Does Rusev lose again on, on, a, on a pay-per-view? Yeah, I don't know. I hope not. We, I, we just got to win this, surely. And then Randy's got to bugger off for a while. He has to. That's, that's, that's what has to happen, surely. Surely that's yeah. what has to happen. Surely. I hope so. I mean, Rusev can't keep losing on pay-per-view. Nope. Mm. He's too good. He's too charismatic. He's too good. Yeah, he's awesome. Uh, yeah, he is. Uh, so after that, we had um, the main events, which are, of course, John Cena versus Nakamura, which is baffling that they've given, given this to us for free. But I am not complaining. Um, uh, me. I mean, um, this was awesome. It was, and it was genuinely very good. It was well. it was an amazing match, yeah. Very, very good. Labelled as a dream match. And I think, it, you, know, it, you know, it is one of the few dream matches that you have around nowadays. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and it's I'm, like a match you never thought you'd see. And it's like, it's happening on the background. I'm totally down with it. And it was awesome. Yeah, it was very, very good. Um, just seen it hits um, uh, AA, but Nagmore kicks out, which is awesome. Yeah. Uh, and it hits a second, uh, goes for the th- third. But then Nakamura counters with a, a nasty looking exploded suplex. He <laughs> landed right in his neck. It, that was, it, it, it took a serious spill there. Like, I mean, that yeah, is a so nasty, bad. nasty landing. Yeah, this is in slow motion. It's saw his neck bend right forward. It's like, oh, Jesus Christ. How are you not dead? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Nakamura ended up being a uh, Kinshasa and won clean. He beats it in clean. And it's going to be uh, uh, Nakamura versus Jinder. Of all things, Jinder was Islam. wearing a very fetching tie this week on SmackDown. It had like flowers and stuff on it. It's a very naughty looking tie. Yes. So, but he pulled and it off, and uh, <laughs> fair, play, right, Jinder, yeah. fair play. But um, well, yeah, I'm, I'm excited by the prospect of Nakamura getting a World Heavyweight Championship match at SummerSlam. Very cool. Whether he wins or not is another thing. Uh, yeah. Um, because so I was a match. Go on. So, I was going to say I was a match. I seen that stood back up. Because he's image of Bowley. And then <laughs> shook hands with Nakamura. Did you see hand. Nakamura word, I'm sorry? I didn't actually know. Did he? Yeah, cause Cena, Cena was like, he like did like a, acknowledged his neck. Oh, and, yeah. And um, Nakamura said, I'm sorry. And Cena said, <laughs> no need to apologize. Or like, don't be sorry or something like that. Shook oh, his good. hand and raised his hand. Cena is a real class act. He's awesome, yeah. I've like seen a lot. There are a lot of wrestlers that would just fucking kick off. Yeah, yeah. But uh, no, Cena, I mean, that was an excellent match. Um, I don't know what happens to Cena now. Uh, I think he's going to film, film a movie for a while, I think. Oh, he's going to be the new fight. Transformers movie, isn't he? Yeah, and I think Abandoned Women's, Women's Eye is going to turn up back on War. And he's going to be there for a while. Okay. He's back. Fair enough. So, uh, um, that's fine. He doesn't, need yeah. to be honest, he doesn't need to be around at all, but if he's going to be around, I think Raw is probably the place for him. Smackdown yeah, doesn't need him. I mean, Smackdown's got a lot of talent now and it can be a completely different show to Raw. Completely different. Raw, oh, can, Raw can be where the heavy hitters are, like the big superstars and stuff are. Cena, Rollins, or, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah. Established superstars. Smackdown can be where you're Mike Kanellis, Sammy, Owens, AJ. Mm. And it's just a completely different show and that's exactly what the two should be. Completely different. Absolutely. So, yeah. Agreed. And yeah, it's cool, cool that Cena left that, that's uh well, put over Nakamura on this last day uh, for a while. Yep, so, I agree. Uh, and uh, yeah, so Nakamura versus Jinder Mahal at SummerSlam. Um, looking That's forward to it. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what bizarre reality we live in. I know wrestling in 2017 is so strange. <laughs> like, oh, also also between um, SmackDown and Two Live Live, if for the seven people who watched Two Live Live up to SmackDown, um, Baron Corbin attacked since Nakamura was in a match. Uh, tried to put Cena through a table, but failed, and Cena got. I've seen the AA Baron Corbin goes able. Yep. And uh, so yeah, if you're one of the seven people you saw that, well done. Congratulations. <laughs> and um, yeah, 205 Live is still a thing. Still going. Yeah, still going. Um, I'll tell you what is interesting at the minute. Is the WWE UK Championship. Oh yes, I got this defended, defended on um, uh, ICW, didn't it? It did. Uh, Pete Dunne retained. He did. And he's actually going to fight Gentleman Jack Gallagher Ooh. at Progress in uh, New York. Oh, interesting. Okay. Which is so cool. I want to see these matches. Me too. How do we see them? And I guess, <laughs> but I Put mean, them on the network, please. Yeah, I mean, you, know, the, the, I mean, yeah, you can watch Progress and stuff like that on the internet. But um, internet. You know, I, I want to I see these matches. Like they, they, That's exciting. Jack Gallagher versus 
Pete Dunn for a WWE Championship outside of WWE. It's awesome, yeah. On the in- w- cool. WWE Championship being defended on the Indies. Yeah. Unbelievable. What what a time to be alive. Very cool. Yeah. What, what happened to that UK show they're going to do? They are going to do it still. I think they're just. I, <laughs> I still think they're working the logistics out for it. It's that's about fair. finding venues and stuff in this country and that sort of thing. So um, it will happen. Uh, it's just a case of we're going to have to wait. Yeah, but wait in, the, in the meantime, they are keeping the UK Championship relevant by making it be a complete buzz on the internet by having these matches on indie shows for a WWE title. Yeah, and that's awesome. Yeah, absolutely awesome. So that was wrestling. 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 Yeah. And uh, Finn. Hello. You've got the book. I do have the book. You've actually got it with you. I do. You did have to remind me though. A bit honesty. (laughs) You will get Uh, there one day. I'll get there one day. day. So, the Games of Grabs podcast this week is brought to you by the letter... W. W for wrestling. wrestling. (laughs) Let's have a look. WrestleMania. Never heard of it. Same. There he is. All right. Let's have a look. Who have we got here? Wade Victor. Uh, that was Virgil. Come too far. Uh, Wade Barrett. What happened to him? Stu Bennett. Stu Bennett. We saw him in that. Um, WCPW. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Warlord. Good times. Hmm. Wayne and Mercy. Who? Oh, we've done WWE Warlord because of who? <laughs> What's that? What's that? We've done WWE Warlord because I'm a, I'm a who. Oh, of course, yeah, because of... Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, there's a few in W, actually. A few potentials. The wizard. <laughs> Keep the Keeping it simple with the wizard there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I think that's it. Oh, no, Boss Mania. The Boss Greatest Tag Team. Shelty Benj. And they did one. What happened to me coming back? Yeah, I think apparently he's um, clear to wrestle now. So, yeah, just waiting for him to come back, I guess. Hopefully. I hope he does come back. I, I'm a big fan of Shelton Benjamin. I, I assume he, he can still go. I know he's still been doing the indies and stuff like that. So, you know, I'd yeah. like to see him back. I think it'd be good for him to have one more run, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Uh, WrestleMania. Got all the WrestleMania in there. Because, of course. It'd be a bit of crap WWE Encyclopedia if it didn't have WrestleMania in it. A little bit. Uh, oh, back to X now because he's Santa Claus from last week. Oh, uh, Jesus Christ. This is fucking <laughs> Santa Claus. Uh, Alright. Let's go. Let's go with the Wizard. Okay. Oh, there's another one of the as well. Actually, no, let's, let's we'll save, save the Wizard for another time. Let's go with Willy uh-huh, Gilsenberg. Willy Gilsenberg. Willy Gildenberg. Gilsenberg with the Z. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> In the early 1960s, Vince McMahon Sr. and his partners were looking to break Capital Wrestling free from the National Wrestling Alliance. One of the key figures in this transformation was an individual who had a reputation as a sharp businessman and a pioneering promoter. When McMahon needed a savvy administrator to handle dealing with promoters, venue executives, the public and the brass of superstars, Willie Gilsenberg was a man for the job. He's not actually a wrestler, then, just a random guy. Um, Willie was a successful promoter based out of Newark, New Jersey at McMahon's first president. Gilsenberg influenced the careers of some of the most pivotal figures in sport entertainment such as Antonio Argen- Argentina Rocker, <laughs> uh, Nature Boy Buddy Rogers, okay. Bruno Sammartino and Swede Hansen. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, sadly, on November 15th, 1978, this innovator of great attractions passed away. Rip. Willie Gilsenberg <laughs> Set the standard for the Gilly Rosenberg set the standard for the on air uh, resistance of authority seen with their case on WWE programming. And it's Willie Gildenberg. Rip. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick him because his name's Willie? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. That's how mature we are here on the Games and Grass podcast. <laughs> Next week is episode 69. You can only imagine hey. what that's going to be like. <laughs> oh, dear. <sighs> okay. Good stuff. So yeah, this week's this week's episode of something something podcast something something bully. 
W. You suck so badly <laughs> at this. I know. I'm not great. You need to, you need to come get your book back. And I'm going to buy a new version <laughs> of it, I think. I'm going to buy the newest version and read out of that. Pretty good, eh? Because you are rubbish at this. <laughs> oh, do you want me to try again? I'll try again. No, I don't want you to try again. I don't need you to. Oh, okay. You ruined it. <laughs> you ruined the moment. I, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I'll try it next week. <laughs> Must try harder. Must, must try harder. Okay. Guys, this is the Games and Grass podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Friday across podcast services everywhere. Most Fridays, everywhere. And <laughs> youtube.com forward slash Sunny Finn Play. And yeah. youtube.com forward slash Daydreamer Gaming. Yeah. This has been episode 68. I'm Sunny. I'm Finn. And we will speak to you next week, guys. Thank you very much for listening. Take care. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Divas. <laughs>